Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. During a recent visit to NPO Strela on February 28, 2024, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shuigu witnessed the debut of the cutting-edge Vozrozhdenya by caliber multiple launch rocket system, MLRS. Named Renaissance, this system is a derivative of the ISDM's Mladilia 8x8 mine-laying platform. The Vozrozhdenya MLRS boasts the capability to launch two types of munitions, 140mm mines designed for anti-tank or anti-personnel purposes, and 220mm rockets sourced from various Russian MLRS systems, including the BM-27 Urigan, TOS-1 Baratino, TOS-1 A Sansepek, and TOS-2 Tosika. The leading figure at the enterprise revealed that the implementation of 12-hour work shifts and the acquisition of new equipment have led to a twofold increase in production rates within the current year. Ambitious plans are underway to quadruple production output by the year 2025. Moreover, production targets for the Yastreb AV and Zupark 1M mobile radar systems, as well as the Astenic radar stations, were successfully met in 2023. The emergence of the Vozrozhdenya MLRS was initially observed on Russian social media platforms and later confirmed by Army recognition on December 27, 2023. Its development is part of a broader initiative spearheaded by the Russian state corporation Rostec, aimed at bolstering the flexibility and firepower of the Russian artillery. Sergei Kimzov, the general director of Rostec, affirmed that production is slated to commence in the first half of 2024. The distinguishing feature of the Vozrozhdenya is its dual capability design, enabling it to function both as a conventional MLRS utilizing 220mm rockets and as a mine-laying platform with 140mm rockets. This versatility renders it a significant asset to Russia's artillery forces, as it accommodates various types of warheads, including high-explosive fragmentation, chemical, thermobaric, incendiary, and scatterable mine submunitions. In the absence of additional information from Sergei Kimzov, we have compiled existing data on the munitions utilized by the aforementioned systems. The BM-27 Urigan employs 220mm rockets equipped with high-explosive fragmentation, chemical, and scatterable mine submunition warheads, boasting a range of 35 to 40 kilometers, Capable of firing at a maximum rate of approximately one round per second, it can be reloaded with a new set of 16 rockets in roughly 20 minutes. The BM-27 is designed to launch various unguided artillery rockets, including types such as 9M27F, High Explosive, 9M27K1, Anti-Personnel Anti-Material Bomblets, 9M27K2, Anti-Tank Mines, 9M27K3, Anti-Personnel Minelets, and 9M59, Anti-Tank Mines with a Directional Charge. The TOS-1 Baratino can unleash up to 30 plus 2 20mm rockets equipped with thermobaric or incendiary warheads. These unguided rockets boast a range from 600 meters to 4,000 meters and can be simultaneously launched within 6 seconds, creating a destruction zone measuring 200 by 400 meters. The upgraded TOS 1A Sansepec features 24 tubes for 220mm rockets and boasts an extended range of up to 6 kilometers, alongside an enhanced ballistic computer. Retaining the rapid fire capability of the TOS 1 Baratino, it enables a full salvo to be launched within 6 seconds. The munitions utilized, unguided missiles with incendiary or thermobaric warheads, generate an aerosol cloud igniting fuel air explosions, proving particularly effective in mountainous or fortified areas. In March 2020, Russia introduced a new rocket for the TOS 1A capable of reaching 10 kilometers, achieved by downsizing the fuel air explosive mixture in the warhead. This modification increased the minimum range from 400 meters to 1.6 kilometers, necessitating the continued use of the shorter range M0.1.01.04 M rocket for close range scenarios. The TOS 2 Tosika, the latest advancement in Russian flamethrower and thermobaric rocket launcher systems, distinguishes itself from its predecessors by employing a wheeled platform and featuring automated aiming, shooting, and fire control systems. It eliminates the need for a transport loading vehicle, thanks to an integrated crane. Mounted on a 6x6 chassis, the extensively modernized TOS 1A launcher of the TOS 2 can fire 220mm fuel air explosive rockets or thermobaric ammunition from 18 launch tubes, effectively covering an area of 6 hectares. With thermobaric rockets, its range extends from 3.5 to 10 kilometers, with some sources suggesting it could reach up to 15 kilometers. Built on the ISDM's Mladilia 8x8 mine laying platform, the Vozrozhdenya system will also function as a remote mining vehicle when utilizing 140mm caliber rockets. Similar to the ISDM's Mladilia, it is estimated to have a firing range of 5 to 15 kilometers and will be accompanied by a TZM, transport reloader vehicle. For mobility, the Vozrozhdenya system is expected to utilize the same CAM AZ 6568x8 chassis as the ISDM Zemladilie. Introduced in 2005, the robust CAM AZ 6560 military truck boasts a significant payload capacity of up to 20,000 kg and is powered by the CAM AZ 740.35 to 400 turbocharged diesel engine. 
delivering 400 horsepower. Equipped with a German-made ZF6 horsepower 602 automatic gearbox, it can achieve a maximum road speed of 90 km per hour and boasts a maximum cruising range of 1000 km. That's all for now, see you later.